Hello again, friends. Here in Canada and around the world, we're once again at the point in this second wave of the virus where gathering with others poses increased risk of virus transmission. We are reminded over and over again that it is the simple basic practices that make all the difference. We're all trying to be careful to keep our face coverings on, to maintain physical distancing, to clean our hands often, to be careful what we touch with our hands. We see fist bumps and elbow bumps and virtual hugs, so many things we do to try and put others around us at ease and not have a negative impact. These ongoing and necessary precautions also have me thinking about how we approach others as we seek to make the love and forgiveness of God known. One of the greatest evangelists of all time, the Apostle Paul in the early church said this, And so it was with me, brothers and sisters, when I came to you, I did not come with eloquence or human wisdom as I proclaimed to you the testimony about God. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness with great fear and trembling. My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with a demonstration of the Spirit's power so that your faith might not rest on human wisdom but on God's power. And I thought as we think about doing everything we can these days to keep the airspace around us and the surfaces by us clean so that others are not made ill with COVID-19 by our physical presence, I asked myself, are we making similar efforts to ensure that the things we say and the manner in which we say them are bringing spiritual health in such an atmosphere? Jesus brought a simple message that wasn't cluttered by all kinds of other agendas. What mattered first was that God's gift of Jesus Christ dying on our behalf on the cross so we could have new life lived in the power of God. That's what mattered first and most. Today, we pray to have a similar heart and focus as we live for God among all the distractions of the pandemic restrictions. Let's pray, shall we? Heavenly Father, we are grateful that you came to us simply and with the wonderful message of the life of Jesus Christ. You, you didn't make things complicated for us, but you clearly revealed who you are, what you're like, and all the wonderful plans you have for us. And it is true. It's true that this message, this message of grace is so much better than we are even able to imagine it. And so we agree with the words that say what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things that God has prepared for those who love him. These are the things God has revealed to us by his spirit. This is we long for things to normalize God and we long to be able to go out and do things we enjoy and spend time with people we love without all the necessary health restrictions. So too, God, we long for the day when we will live face to face with you. Oh, loving God, you have prepared so many things for us to enjoy, things that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no human mind can conceive because they're so good and so pure and so appropriate for us so much better than what we would ever prepare. We pray today to be able to understand what you do have in mind for us to know today and to be able to share that effectively with others who are living lost and living fearful and living lonely in the middle of all this pandemic upheaval. God, please fill us again with your Holy Spirit so that we get things right. You promise that the Holy Spirit will help us understand all that you've given us and will give us. You've, you, you promise that you'll give us the right words, even, my goodness, even wise words as we speak and share with others. Your word says what we've received is not the spirit of the world, but the spirit is from God so that we may understand what God has freely given us. This is what we speak, not in words taught by human wisdom, but in words taught by the spirit, explaining spiritual realities with spirit taught words. Oh, that sounds like a good agenda today. That, it sounds like just what we need. Lord, that's what we long for. And so as we do, go into this day trusting you, God, to search our hearts. Trusting you to help us filter our thoughts. 
and trusting you to do in us whatever is necessary so we don't just live by human judgment, but truly apply the kind of thinking and understanding that you meant when you said that we would have the mind of Christ. We long to know you, God, more. We long to know you better. We long for others to experience the joy and blessing we experience as we live each day in your presence under your care. Help us today, we pray, God, by the power of your Spirit, to live that well and communicate it well. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's do that. In spite of the difficulties and restrictions, let's have a wonderful day. And let's, uh, let's do it well. See you tomorrow.